So welcome to the practice of Yoga Nidra. Asking now to lie on your back on the floor or your yoga mat or the bed in the posture of Shavasana. This allows for the spine to be long and rest in the nervous system. Give it a beautiful rest as the busy days that we have. So we're going to create a full restful place here. A place where the body doesn't need to move for the next 30-35 minutes. And we release three levels of tension here. Within, without in our energy body. We invite ourselves to let go. And we follow the yoga nidra with ease. There is no try, as Yoda said. <laughs> All you need to do is follow the sound of my voice and relax the body. And let go of the mind. The mind can have a good rest as well. And just some connection and fluidity with my voice. So settle in the body now. Length and comfort into the lower back and neck. Separate the arms and legs. About hip width apart for the ankles. Feet falling out to the sides. Arms 10 centimetres ish away from the body. And play with the hands here. So you may want palms upwards or palms downwards. Whatever's comfortable for your body in this moment. Join in the forefinger and thumb if that's comfortable. And tuck in in the buttocks. Bring extra length to the spine. Dropping the chin to the chest a little bit to elongate the neck. And taking our awareness to the parts of the body that are touching the floor. So that's the heels in the floor, calf muscles, backs of the legs, buttocks. Shoulder blades, backs of the arms, just feeling that connection to the floor and back of the head. Lips are lightly touching, teeth separated and the tongue and the bottom, the palate of the mouth. Expand the body on an in-breath and relax and soften the body on the out-breath. And give permission for your breath to be natural. And take your awareness to the top body and feel the expansion, the vastness of the space around the top body. I'm making any final adjustments here now, doing whatever you need to lay non-moving on the floor or the bed. Remember to stay awake and listening to the sound of my voice. Now take your awareness to the sounds all around you in the room. Moving your awareness from one sound to the next, not analysing or naming or anything of the sound, just using your sense of hearing. Hear the sound, know you were hearing the sound, then move on to the next sound, searching and seeking.
Now take that awareness outside of the room. Sounds that you can hear outside. Searching and seeking, moving the awareness from one sound. Hear it, know you are hearing it, then move on to the next sound. Take that awareness as far into the distance as you can. Searching and seeking for the sounds. start to bring that awareness start to reel that awareness in still listening for the sounds outside of the room and bring that sound awareness back within the room And bring that awareness within your own body. Searching and seeking for sounds within your body. And letting go of the sounds. Moving on to our Sankalpa. This is our resolve. Something that you'd like to manifest or to achieve or become in your life. It's a short, succinct statement framed in the now, such as I have or I embody. And repeat that to yourself three times with feeling and awareness now or use this time to cultivate the seed of a new sankalpa. Letting go of our Sankalpa and moving on to some body awareness. I'll say a body part. See, feel, imagine, feel the part's presence in space and maybe mentally repeat it to yourself. And so we're going to start with the right hand thumb. Bring your full awareness and focus to the right hand thumb. Forefinger of the right hand, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side of the chest, right side of the waist, hip, top of the thigh, side of the thigh, kneecap, shin, ankle, top of the foot, 
right big toe, take full awareness, feeling and imagination and visualise your right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Moving to the left side of the body, starting with the left hand thumb, full awareness and focus to your left hand thumb. Forefinger of the left hand, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, top of the arm, shoulder, armpit, left side of the chest, left side of the waist, hip, top of the thigh, side of the thigh, kneecap, shin, ankle, top of the foot, full awareness to the left big toe, all your awareness to the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, working our way up the back of the body, the sole of our feet, sole of your feet. Heel, calf muscles, backs of the knee, backs of the thigh, buttocks, lower back, mid back, upper back, shoulder blades, the space between the shoulder blades, back of the neck, Back of the head, top of the head, forehead, temples, eyebrows, the space between the eyebrows, Brahmadia, the eyebrow centre, take full awareness to Brahmadia, the eyebrow centre, bridge of the nose, Eyes, eyelids, cheeks, tip of the nose, nostrils, lips, teeth, tongue, chin, throat. Pit of the throat, full awareness to the pit of the throat. Chest, collarbones, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, navel centre, full awareness, navel centre. pelvic region, right leg, your right leg, left leg, left leg, right arm, right arm, left arm, left arm. Both legs together, both legs together, both arms together, both arms together. Arms and legs, arms and legs. Spine from base to the top in the centre of the head, your whole spine from the base to the top in the centre of the head. 
front body, from top of the head down to the pelvic region, front body. Whole torso, your whole torso. The head, the head. Your whole body, your whole body lying in Shavasan on the floor of the bed. Letting go of the body awareness and moving on to some breath awareness. Take your attention to the navel center to your belly button and feel with every in breath the belly button rising and with every out breath it falling back down. Belly button is rising with the in breath with expansion and falling down with the out breath. Mentally repeat I am breathing in I am breathing out. Remember to stay awake and listening to my voice. I am breathing in, I am breathing out. Move their awareness up to the chest and the lungs area. And every in breath, feel the expansion of the chest. And on the out breath, feel the chest falling back down. Breathing in, I am breathing in. Feel the chest expand. I am breathing out, feel it fall back down. Now combining the two and taking the awareness to the full body. So on every in-breath, feel the whole body expand in all directions. Top, bottom and sides. So feel the whole body, the whole field around the body expand on the in-breath. And on the out-breath, feel the whole expansion come back to a single point behind the heart space. I am breathing in, whole body expansion. I am breathing out back to a tiny point in the heart space.
Remember to stay awake. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. Letting go of the breath awareness now. Letting go of breath awareness. I'm going to say some feelings. Feel, imagine, sense the feelings when I say them in the whole body. Within and around the body. There'll be feelings that you recognise, that you felt before. Starting with a feeling of tired. Embody the feeling of being tired. Energised. Feel within the whole body what it feels like to be energised. Hot. Feel the whole body hot. Feeling hot. Cold. Feeling cold within and without the whole body. Separation. Feel the feeling of separation. Feeling the separation. Connection. Feeling what it feels like with connection, feeling connection. Moving on to some images. Imagine, use your beautiful sense of imagination to imagine a hot summer's day. A hot summer's day a hot summer's day, a traffic jam, a traffic jam, a traffic jam, fierce ocean waves, fierce ocean waves, fierce ocean waves, a roaring campfire, a roaring campfire. A roaring campfire. Birds flying across a clear sky. Birds flying across a clear sky. Birds flying across a clear sky. Busy city streets. Busy city streets. Busy city streets. An angry person, an angry person, an angry person. A cool, clear lake, a cool, clear lake, a cool, clear lake. Sparkling crystals, sparkling crystals. Sparkling crystals. Soft, silky petals. Soft, silky petals. Soft, silky petals. Golden nectar. Golden nectar. Golden nectar. Lush native bush, lush native bush, lush native bush. A full moon, a full moon, a full moon. 
a black antelope, a black antelope, a black antelope. He was standing on the plains of a vast savanna. You can see for miles and miles into the distance in all directions. Totally 360 directions. Feel the ground beneath the feet. Smell the air around you. There are high snow-capped peaks of the mountains in the distance. And you can see herds of antelope grazing. You decide to walk towards the mountains. The grass is high and you can feel this beneath your feet and with your hands. What does it feel like to the touch? What can you hear? The kind of bees and bird song. The sun is shining. Above is an eagle swirling through the thermals. Looking totally at one with the sky, the blue sky above. Clouds drift on a vast blanket of ocean blue. You continue to walk and you see a building up ahead. Walks towards the building. The closer you get, you can start to make out the features of this building, of the old stone walls. What else can you see? There's a large wooden door. Walk towards this. You see the door handle and as you reach out to this handle to open you notice how old it is and what of it's made of. Open the door and walk inside. It's dark inside and you see some steps in front of you walk down them and as you walk down the steep dark steps it starts to get narrower and narrower darker and darker the deeper down these stairs that you go take your time walk slowly down these deep dark narrow stairs You finally reach the bottom where you can see a light shining through another door in front of you. Walk towards this door. You open the door and there's a huge room full of golden symbols floating around midair. What can you see? What do these look like? You observe that some are familiar to you and some are strange ones that you've never seen before. You also notice that the sound coming from these symbols, frequencies that may be new to your ears, listen intently.
You then notice that there's a, a huge chair, a throne-like chair in the middle of the room. And around the chair is a circle with more strange symbols on the floor that surround it. You walk towards the throne and sit down. Feels like the chair's being made just for you. You sink deep into the chair. Notice how comfortable it is and relax. You feel the throne lifting from the floor, starting to levitate from the ground, gently raising. You feel yourself floating in a vast space full of every colour of the light spectrum. You may see shapes, symbols here and specific colours. Something that is special just for you. Now you feel the chair begin to slowly and steadily move back to the ground. And then with a tiny thump, you feel it connect back onto the ground. Getting up from the chair whilst remembering what you've seen and what you've heard and what was special for you, you start to make your way back from the room to the staircase. There's light on now and you can easily make your way back up to the stair, back up the stairs. Open the door and walk back onto the savannah plains outside. Lie down on the floor and close your eyes. And take your awareness to the Chittakash space the vast, limitless space of the mind in all directions. Feel into the vastness of this space.
And letting go of the Chittakash space, bringing back to mind our Sankalpa. That was the short, succinct, succinct sentence that we said at the beginning of the Yoga Nidra. Repeat that Sankalpa to yourself three times now. And bring your awareness, letting go of the Sankalpa, bring your awareness back to your body, your whole body lying in the room on the floor. Be aware of your whole body lying in the room on the floor. Aryom Tatsat. Practice of yoga, is, yoga Nidra is now complete. Bringing the awareness to the breath at the nostrils. Feeling the cool air come in and the warm air going out. Bringing some slight movement now to the feet. Moving the feet from side to side. Moving the head from side to side. Maybe stretching the arms and the legs, arms overhead. And when you're ready, rolling on to your right side and taking three breaths here. And I'll just do one, if you come back to sit in, I'll just do one arm to close the session. Breathing in. Om. Namaste.